the United States is extremely troubled that the Israeli Knesset has passed legislation rescinding important parts of the 2005 disengagement law, including the prohibition on establishing settlements in the Northern West Bank. At least one of these outposts in this area, Homesh, was built on private Palestinian land, which is illegal under Israeli law. It is all the more concerning that such a significant piece of legislation passed with just 31 yes votes out of an assembly of 120 members. De-escalating and reducing violence are in all parties' interests, including Israel's. The U.S. strongly urges Israel to refrain from allowing the return of settlers to the area covered by the legislation, consistent with both former Prime Minister Sharon and the current Israeli government's commitment to the United States. We have been clear that advancing settlements is an obstacle to peace and the achievement of a two-state solution. This certainly includes creating new settlements, building or legalizing outposts, or allowing building of any kind on private Palestinian land or deep in the West Bank adjacent to Palestinian communities, all of which would be facilitated by this legal change. The action also represents a clear contradiction of undertakings the Israeli government made to the United States. Nearly 20 years ago, Prime Minister Ariel Sharon, on behalf of Israel, affirmed in writing to George W. Bush that it, would that it committed to evacuate these settlements and outposts in the Northern West Bank in order to stabilize the situation and reduce frictions. The amendments to the disengagement law are also inconsistent with Israel's recent commitments to de-escalating Israeli-Palestinian tensions. Just two days ago, Israel reaffirmed its commitment to stop discussion of any new settlements for four months and to stop authorization of any outposts for six months. Coming at a time of heightened tensions, the legislative changes announced today are particularly provocative and counterproductive to efforts to restore some measures of calm as we head into Ramadan, Passover, and the Easter holidays.